What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So let's talk about positions that I usually mention whenever someone asks me about like, hey, if you have a $3,000 or $5,000 to invest into the crypto market, I tell people exactly what I would invest into because I believe that these plays are going to be big plays. But it doesn't mean that those people will then need to invest directly into those plays. It means that you guys go and do a little bit of research for yourself and give yourself the reason as to why you would invest into it. But a lot of times these plays are my kind of sleeping giant plays that I believe are going to have a massive impact within the market. Now, there probably is going to be majority of cryptocurrencies that are going to move, but these are plays that I believe are sleeping giant plays. And there may be a lot more that may be a sleeping giant that might start out at the bottom and turn into something that's worth, you know, maybe 10 billion or a hundred billion dollars. And it may just be getting started today or something. So I want to talk about um, these four sleeping giant coins um, that I believe, you know, should be held in 2024, the 2024 bull market, the bull run. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon. Those links are in the description. Speaking of Patreon, I'm doing a whole series on leverage trading. If you guys want to uh, see that, you have to subscribe as a expert profit hands level in order to uh, get that series, get that breakdown. We're releasing like a video every single day to go over a different structure within leverage trading. And if you want to get started with leverage trading, you can go and check out uh, Margex, which I have a link for in the description. They are a partner with the channel where you can trade up to 100x leverage if you guys really want to. And recently I haven't had um, for the last maybe three trades, two out of the two out of the three of those trades haven't really been successful, but actually four trades um, two have been successful two have not been successful. So, um, yeah, definitely, you know, you want to be able to understand it a little bit and understand the markets and how things were running. Those trades that were not successful was not really the best time to trade in the market. And I was doing it, um, through the middle of the night, as I saw things that were pulling back, I wanted to see a bounce, but in reality, I should have continued to play the pullback. Um, and I realized that as I played it, but either way you start to learn things. If you guys want to start trading with uh, Margex and trading on leverage, again, the link will be in the description, but like I said, there are a lot of, uh, sleeper plays. There are a lot of plays to where you can make, um, you can end up, um, you know, making a lot of money from some of these plays. And I, I like seeing those opportunities. I like expressing those opportunities and talking about those opportunities, but I also want people to do their research into some of these plays. So let's go and get into it so we don't waste a ton of your time just talking your ear off and start with the first one. Obviously, the first one would be Terra Luna Classic. This is my one of my number one, or definitely my number one play when it comes to sleeper plays. Um, it's not really my largest holdings, but it's definitely the highest percentage that I've made on a position. I believe that they have so much upside and so many things that can happen, and we don't know if they will happen, and the unknown is what makes it interesting. So for Terra Luna Classic, currently sitting at a point zero 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 seventeen sixty six, or about a $1 billion market cap, it has so much more upside than where we are seeing it right now. And if you found a way to buy in at the added zero level, so point zero 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 five or 6 or something like that, you're up significantly <clears throat> on your play by like three times at this point. So that's fantastic to see. But um, we want to see this grow a lot further than just a $1 billion market cap and can go up to a level of $4 billion, $5 billion, $10 billion, $50 billion worth of a market cap. But you're also adding in the portion of, you know, potential burns and potential uh, repeg of USTC. It's just so much that goes with it. Uh, so definitely check out Caspa. It's, or sorry, not Caspa, Terra Luna Classic as a sleeping giant. Now the next play is in fact Caspa. That's kind of why I decided to, to say that, or I guess subconsciously said it. Um, Caspa is currently sitting at uh, 12 cents. This had so much potential when it was down at the level of five cents, and I wanted to see a pullback to about 3.5 cents, but honestly, I didn't have the money to spend at that point 
anyways. So I was waiting to be able to gather some capital in order to buy into Casper. And by that time, it already pushed up uh, to a way higher level. My cost basis is around the 12 to 13 cents where we currently stand. So me talking about this now means that I truly do believe in this well above where we are, meaning that you guys, if you would invest into it and do see the potential in this right now, you would be investing at my cost basis, meaning that you kind of are going along the flow with me. But this is definitely a great play. It's currently sitting at a $2.6 billion market cap, so definitely not a small coin by any means. But... <clears throat> you do know that this has a ton more potential within it and you see the community behind it you see the build you see the success you see all of the different traction and this is even you know when you look at the markets this is even without an s tier exchange you're not looking at uh, you're not seeing binance you're not seeing a uh, coinbase that's listed there and when you do have that happen um you're going to have cash but it absolutely goes through the roof because it's going to be available to a lot of people that may have not had access to it. So Caspa, definitely uh, a sleeper play um, to some people. Some people, it's not sleeping at all and it's continuing to rise, but I think it's definitely a sleeper play that people are looking at other things like, you know, Solana and Caspa and, you know, maybe even looking at um, whatever, BNB and, and things like that. And I think uh, you may see more success within Caspa, honestly. Uh, the next play that I want to talk about is one that people have compared, I guess, the movement to, which would be Kronos, right? You compared that to Casper with that movement because they were both hovering around the same area, or the same uh, price point. And right now, they are around the same market cap because Casper is around a $2.6 billion market cap, while Kronos is at a $2.5 billion market cap. Uh, so you're currently seeing this at a level of about $0.10. Cents. I did invest... Um, at a level of 12 cents, I want to say. I can't. I keep going back and forth because I don't remember exactly how much I had. I believe I invested about $12,000 into it and it was at a value of like 10 cents or it might be opposite. I, I don't know. <laughs> at this point, I don't have a way of, of tracking it and I have to go back to my sheet in order to figure that out. But it's interchangeable. One of the ways um, there. But either way, I'm not looking to sell at 10 or 12 cents. I'm not looking to sell at 50 cents. Uh, but this has so much more potential to grow uh, further. It's connected to a billion dollar exchange and multiple billion dollar exchange. And what they have going for them is the implementation of Kronos within it. And I feel like that alone just gives you so much growth potential for this. And uh, you see $33 million worth of volume, again, a $2.5 billion market cap. You're seeing 25 billion total coins, meaning that if we see it at a $100 billion market cap, <clears throat> that is a $4 price point for something that's worth 10 cents. That's not only a 10x, but we're looking at um, up to a $2 price point, that's a 20x, up to a $4 price point, that's a 40x. So we're seeing things that definitely have a lot of potential and is a sleeping giant and could go a lot further. CRO has burned off coins in the past, has burned off billions of coins in the past, 70% of their supply. So who's to say that they won't do it again? So you can create that deflationary aspect to it. Um, but yeah, CRO is definitely a, a sleeper play. It's the most um, that I have invested out there. And uh, it's because I do firmly believe in what Kronos is, what Crypto.com can do, the Kronos chain, all of these things that are associated with it. And the last play that I want to talk about is another big play of mine, which is Jasmine Coin. Currently sitting at a level of 57% of a penny. This can go so much further with understanding things like the Jasmine chain, the coin lockup, you know, uh, understanding the community behind it, how the community is growing, the volume within it as well. <clears throat> the fact that it's available on Coinbase and giving you, it's currently sitting at a $283 million market cap. It's the lowest market cap that's on this list. While uh, um, I can't think of the name, Lunic, I was going to say Coinbase, while uh, Lunic is sitting at a level of $1 billion, Caspa sitting at $2.6 billion, CRO sitting at $2.5 billion, Jasmine Coin is sitting at a $200 or $300 million market cap. So much upside for this, and I currently have 5,000 that's invested into it, or technically 4,000 that I invested, and I'm up about 1,700. I have a million Jasmine Coin, and I think this can go upwards of one to two dollars, meaning that you would have a million dollars there if a Jasmine Coin did make that move up to these levels. So 
I think this has so much upside, and I think there's definitely a lot more plays that are out there when it comes to sleeper plays. Don't get me wrong. Don't think that I'm not mentioning some of these other ones that are out there because I, I don't believe in them. No, I do. I believe in exactly where they can go, and they can really run to way higher levels uh, for some of them. But these are ones that I have on my list as sleeper plays and ones that I want to talk about within this video. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about these sleeper plays down below. Also, if you guys want to check out Marjex, that link is in the description where you can start trading with up to 100x leverage. Guys, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.